you want to walk in a room with a group of girls that you knew were talking about you before you walked in, wear these. Welcome to my channel. My name is Fumi Ford. I'm a wife, mom, content creator based out of Birmingham, Alabama, but she's a Niger babe. Nigerian born. My channel is all things fashion, beauty, travel, entrepreneurship, and luxury. Today we are talking sunglasses. So I've never been a sunglass girl until last year. And when I tell you I got into sunglasses like a fiend, that's exactly what happened. I turned from the girl that never wore sunglasses because I am almost legally blind to the girl that can't get enough of them now mind you i have astigmatism in both eyes i it is illegal for me to drive without my prescription glasses but i will do it for a great pair of sunglasses so today let's get into some of my favorite sunglass designers and some of my favorite sunglasses period and at the end stay tuned because we're gonna unbox a new pair of sunglasses from one of my favorite brands. Now, I have a lot of sunglasses, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot. I'm just gonna go over the designers that I have probably the most pair of sunglasses from. I'm not gonna talk about all the sunglasses I have from these designers, just the ones that I gravitate towards and wear a lot. It's not gonna be a long show, let's make it quick, and let's talk about sunglasses 101. My first tip when it comes to buying sunglasses is know your face shape. You can't wear any sunglasses when you don't have like a heart shaped face. Some sunglasses don't work well for me because my face is flat and it's wide. I can't wear a lot of small sunglasses, small framed sunglasses because they disappear inside of my big cheeks and my big face. I need large frames and I also need sunglasses that are made with an eastern cut, not a western cut because my nose is wide. So when it comes to buying sunglasses, know your face shape and then also know what works well for your nose. One of my favorite sunglass designers has to be Loewe. I probably own the most pair of Loewe sunglasses more than anything else. I'm not gonna go in depth into these sunglasses. We're just gonna do a cursory glance at some of the Loewe sunglasses and the other brands that I have. I will put the name and the price, and if I can link it, I will link it down below in the description. But this is just an overall arching view of the sunglasses that I have and what works well if your face is a little bit wider and flatter. And just sunglasses that work well for any person. Let's get into it. The first brand we're going to get into is Loewe. Love Loewe. They're a minimalist brand with maximalist designs. And their sunglasses are literally A1. When it comes to accessories, nobody does it better than Loewe. The first pair of Loewe sunglasses I got were these. I remember when they went viral during Fashion Week. I think a little bit before Fashion Week, maybe two years ago. I put the name... And links down below but baby I was obsessed with this white and pink pair of sunglasses I saw it on an influencer and I was like Fumi you like literally run to grab that one thing that I love about Loewe is a craftsmanship the sunglasses are gonna be heavy they're gonna be substantial and they're going to have like a pull to them I don't know if I'm describing this right but if you've ever gotten a pair of sunglasses that's like easy to collapse and open they're really not that substantial these sunglasses have a substantial feel to them opening and closing it's gorgeous the colors are amazing it's perfect for summer i got these while i was in london yeah two years ago i went to london i went to the loewe store no i went to paris to the Loewe store in Paris and literally snatched these up. They were so much less expensive than if I would have bought them here in the US. They're white, they're pink, they look like 3D sunglasses. Like when you go to the movies and they give you a pair of 3D shades, that's what these look like, but I was obsessed with them. I like that they are 3D because it's almost like a concave shape 
to the Sunnies. I was obsessed when I saw these. With Loewe, you're not going to get a lot of, like, logo. The only logo you're going to see is, like, the Loewe up top and then their motif at the bottom. It came in a lot of different colors, but the white and pink, they were my thing. The next pair of Loewe sunglasses I got were <sighs> the Bubble Sunnies. Baby, you had to be living underneath a rock not to see these fashion week. Oh my God. Every influencer had these sunglasses on. I feel like it started in September and then it went on to February. They were everywhere in every color. These bubble sunglasses from Loewe, you couldn't turn left or right without seeing them, especially during New York Fashion Week. I was obsessed. I went to New York and literally ran to buy these sunnies. They were so, actually I feel like my husband, nope. My husband bought these sunnies for me while I was in Las Vegas before I went to September Fashion Week. They were gorgeous, they're fun, they're different, they're bubble, they look cartoonish. A lot of Loewe's accessories are just over the top, which I love about the brand. I love these sunnies. They are heavy. They are substantial. Again, a lot of thought and detail went into these sunglasses. They come in different colors. They're substantial and they're heavy. And I love that with a pair of sunglasses. I need a pair of sunglasses that I can grab them and feel the money that I spend in them. Like, girl, they feel heavy. And I feel like it was money well spent. That's what these Loewe sunglasses are. Again, you're not going to see a lot of logo. And this one, you're not even going to see, no, you're not even going to see the motif. You're just going to see the Loewe down at the bottom. I will link these if they're still being sold, but I will also link the Amazon version because I found an amazing version on Amazon that I absolutely love. But look how gorgeous these are. One thing I will say about these sunglasses is, baby, this little small slit, that's all you're seeing out of. You're not seeing much, okay? That's all you're seeing. So if your enemy is attacking from the left or right, they're going to get you. The next pair that I got, I also got in Vegas. Um, me and my husband go to Vegas like once or twice a year. Except for this year. We didn't, we haven't gone to Vegas this year. I love these sunnies and it matches my, my outfit now. I love them. I thought like they were super dope. They were super different. I love the color like this sort of cream color on the frames was so gorgeous with the black it's given very much like Willy Wonka over the top like bug's eye a bug's life but I am all about a different pair of sunglasses and I absolutely love these they're larger frames which I love because my face is a little bit wider and thicker so wide frame works well for my face shape these also were trending on social media um i got it i think before it started trending i just like that it was just different and i went and bought it so i got these again in vegas and they were absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna come closer look how beautiful these are oh my god you're going to get the Loewe aside and the little motif at the bottom. And again, with Loewe, that's pretty much all you're going to get when it comes to branding on their sunglasses and a lot of their bags as well. Next one that I got were these bird eye sunglasses. Like these remind me of like a bird. It looks like a bird and I think they, they literally did it to mimic the shape of a bird's wings and I feel like that's what they did it for. They are, oh honey, if you want to stunt on your enemies, if you want to walk in a room with a group of girls that you knew were talking about you before you walked in, wear these. If you are going on a court date with a man that you're trying to get money out of because he was a literal legion and took all your money and your life, took all your time and your energy from you, and you just won the court case against him, and then you're walking out of the courthouse and he's walking behind you, put these sunnies on and walk out of that courthouse. Even if you didn't win that court case you won, that's what these sunglasses remind me of. Look how gorgeous they are. They're the perfect summer sunglasses. Now, a lot of these sunglasses I'm talking about, they're not everyday sunglasses. I'm not an everyday girl. I don't wear a lot of everyday sunglasses. These are sunglasses when you want to stunt, okay? These are the sunglasses when you want to show up and show out and be like, yeah, I'm broke. I'm rich. I just won that court case. My new man makes seven figures. One thing that I absolutely loved about these sunglasses was 
the glass on the handles the way the emblem this is probably the biggest I've ever seen the way the emblem and then of course y'all my makeup is all over this please don't worry about that the gorgeous gorgeous white frames with this beautiful like yellow orange like it depends on what light it hits it picks up different colors they have this also in like a green tint but I absolutely loved it in this black and sort of gold tint like there's it's just so intricate I love the shape of it it is a beautiful beautiful pair of sunglasses absolutely obsessed is it a pair of sunglasses or just sunglasses I feel like it's just one so it might just be sunglasses one pair of Loewe's that are pretty much everyday sort of sunglasses are these ones and I will put the name down below I don't see the name on here they're tortoise shell they're brown they're easy they have nose guards all the other Loewe's didn't have nose guards these have nose guards they sit pretty high on your face and they're sunglasses that you can run errands as a mom they're sunglasses that you can go to a brunch date to a lunch date with with a potential suitor they are everyday sunglasses they go well with black outfits they go well with brown outfits they go well with neutral outfits they're everyday run-of-the-mill sunglasses and I every now and then will buy a pair of everyday sunglasses because I just need something that's easy these are my mom glasses like if I need to run to go pick my kids up from school I'll just throw these on you have the Loewe emblem on both sides and yeah that's about it it is tortoise shell and I like that it's a little bit concave it's just an easy pair of sunnies and then the last pair of Loewe's I'll put pictures to the side are these ones I bought them while I was in New York for fashion week they're so easy they're so fun they are baby do you do you see how hard it is just to close them <sighs> they put a lot of work into these sunglasses I absolutely love these they are cat eye which I'm not a big fan of cat eye because my face is already like my face doesn't do well with cat eye sunglasses I didn't mind these I like that it's acetate with metal so it's two different materials in the sunglasses they're tortoise shell it comes in another sort of cream color but it doesn't work well I feel like that cream color didn't work well for my skin tone it could work well with yours definitely go try it out this is a cool pair of sunglasses I feel like these could be everyday sunglasses if you wanted them to but the Loewe emblem the motif and then Loewe right here I'm gonna come closer so you can see it but yeah she's that girl her man has a yacht and a second home in Saint Tropez. Get these sunglasses and you too can have a seven figure earning man. Louis Vuitton is my second most bought pair of sunglasses but all my LVs are men. I don't own one pair of women LV sunglasses. Let's get into the first one. The first pair of LV sunglasses I got were these ones right here. I think these are called the Millionaires or the Cyclone. I think these are the Cyclone. These are the Cyclone sunglasses. When I These were my first pair of designer sunglasses, so they hold a special place in my heart. I could have never imagined spending that amount of money on a pair of sunglasses until I spent that amount of money on a pair of sunglasses. I love them as soon as I got them. They are men's. They're huge frames. They're my hater blockers. They're my, I don't feel like I look good, but when I put these sunglasses on, I am worth a billion dollars. They are my, I have been crying tears of joy, so I need to cover up my tears. They are my, kids kept me up all night, so I need to cover up the Chanel bags underneath my eyes. I love these sunnies. They're amazing. I love the little emblem in the middle. They're large. The little LV on the side. They're black. They are like movie star look at the little lv in the middle the lv on the sides you can always find these pre-loved and i think louis actually re-released these in other colors so you can definitely go grab it now it's gorgeous the next one i got and i don't know the name of these but i will put them down below were these they have nose guards they're beautiful i think these might be women's i'm not sure but i absolutely love these sunnies these are a pair of everyday sunglasses. I love that the frame is almost minimalist. It's like this tiny gold frame. So you actually really only see the black sunglass instead of like a huge frame with it. 
they're easy, they're every day, you can throw them on, you can run errands, or you can dress them up for like a big event. I love the logo at the top. Look at that, I love the LV logo at the top, the little flowers, or I don't know what those are, but they're so beautiful. Look how minimalist that the frames are. You can barely see them. You're actually only looking at the glass of the sunglasses. And even the handles are very, very small. You get the same little LV motif on the end. And it does have nose guards right here, which makes it easier if you have a wider nose. And you want it to sit up a little bit higher on your face. The next LV that I got, I got while I was in California. This is like a very ladylike and it's so dirty. As soon as I put them on, all I saw was spangles and stars. It's very dirty. But I love these. It's very much so ladylike. It's given very much so Jackie O. It's not minimalist because, of course, you can see like the logo on the side. But the logo isn't big enough for you to be worried about. This is, I'm grabbing my Airmans. I'm grabbing my... Laura Piano, I'm grabbing, you know, all these quiet luxuries and then just putting on these sunglasses for a little bit of a whisper of Louis Vuitton. It's gorgeous. For me, these are like my mom's sunglasses. If I'm going to a PTA meeting and I want to look a little bit polished, I put these on. I'm going somewhere where I know the other moms are divas, I put this on and I just ignore them the rest of the time. I love that it's heavy, it's acetate. Get the LV on the sides. Look how dirty this is. I'm so sorry you get the LV on the side. You get this large frame to kind of cover up, you know, not putting on makeup for the day. And the last LV I got, I actually got like a couple of weeks ago, just in time for Fashion Week. I'll put pictures of me styling it. It is this LV um, Pharrell collection for men. It is red with a red tint on the frame and Damier print on the handles as well as on the front of the sunglasses and silver accessories. Baby, I adore these sunglasses. I adore them. They're also a larger frame. They sit high on the face. They're perfect if your nose is a little bit wider. It does sit on top of like right here on your cheek, but this does not sit on your cheek itself. If you have high cheekbones, it literally just sits right here on the bridge of your nose. Um, not on your nose, but like on the bridge of your cheek. I don't know what that's called. These are so gorgeous. Don't sleep on men's sunglasses. If you are a woman with a wider nose and a wider face, maybe don't even go into the women's section of sunglasses. Only buy men's sunglasses. Like, I'm just going to put that out there. Right on the top, you get the Louis Vuitton motif and logo. You have the Damier print that goes around also to the handle also to the arms of the sunglasses the lv logo right here on the sides and she's just a cute girl and then you have a tiny little red tint to the frames themselves next set of sunglasses that i have a lot of and y'all i'm only going to show you three i have a lot of fendi sunglasses i probably have more fendi sunglasses than i have any other pair of sunglasses it's because i love the way fendi sunglasses fit on my face shape I have a rounder face. It's not hard, it's not square, it's just rounder. It's flat and it's round. Fendi makes amazing sunglasses as well as Fendi's frames are large and I love a large frame. I like a large frame that doesn't sit on my cheeks. I don't like sunglasses where I'm not able to laugh and talk because I love to laugh. My name is Olua Fumilayo. God give me joy. I love to laugh. So I don't want the frames to sit on my cheeks. They can sit on the bridge of my nose and sit right here. But they can't sit on my cheeks because then they move whenever I talk. Fendi makes amazing sunglasses if you have high cheekbones. So let's get into the first one. These are the first pair of Fendi frames. They're a little bit smaller in frames than what I usually go for. But they give me cool girl vibes. It's gold hardware. It's Fendi right here on the side. It's black on the interior. And it just sits amazingly on my face. It has nose guards and it sits right on the bridge of my nose. It's absolutely perfection. When I bought these sunnies, I wore them so much. They went with almost every single thing. As well as the frames are very minimalist. So you really only get like the actual sunglass part of the sunglasses. The Fendi sunglasses on the side and then just this gorgeous cut sunglasses and I I'm like absolutely obsessed with it it doesn't cover up my eyebrows and it doesn't cover up my nose it's like the perfect sunglasses to sit on a wider 
nose and a flatter face. Next pair of Fendi sunglasses. I actually keep these in my car because these are my everyday sunglasses. I don't take them outside of my car or outside of my purse. They do have nose guards on the inside of them and they are literally gorgeous. It's like a champagne silver color. Look at that. These are, baby, run me my kid out of daycare. Bring me my coffee. My clothes done being tailored. I'm here to pick them up. That's what these sunglasses are. They are like everyday housewife, mom, working entrepreneur sort of sunglasses. You don't have to think that much into them. They go with everything from sweatpants to a dress that you're going into the office with. These are them. I'm going to put the name down below. And again, if I can find any of these sunglasses, I will link them down below. The Fendi Roma on both arms. And that that's it. She's just a very, very easy pair of sunglasses. The next pair of sunglasses that I wore to the ground when I got it. These are Fendi and they are summer. They have nose guards. They sit up high on your edge of your nose. They're just a pair of summer glasses. I'm not going to talk too much about them. Easy, fun. You can get them a Nordstrom Rack on sale. Every time I go to the beach, I grab these sunglasses because that's what they remind me of. Summer, beach, water, vibes. That's it. You can see a little bit of the Fendi emblem. Do you see that? It's like a purple gold Fendi emblem that you can see on the sunglasses. Yes, they are dirty because I wear them a lot. Especially during the summer, you can see the double F. Beautiful. The next one I want to talk about is Dior. And I only want to talk about one pair of Dior's because they're the pair of Dior's that I wear the most. That is these. Now this, oh God, it just got instantly darker. My favorite thing about this Dior is it comes with two interchangeable glasses. So you can actually wear the glasses by themselves like this. I don't know who would do that. Or you can do, what is this? The black, the simple black pair. And it's a magnetic clasp that clasps on both sides. Or you can layer it with this silver and black printed Dior on top. It got instantly darker as soon as I put the other the other one on. This is probably the coolest pair of shades I have ever gotten in my life. I used to have another pair of shades where the visor actually came off of it. And I thought that was super cool. I ended up losing it in Las Vegas at H&M. If you ever went to H&M and found those shades, you're a thief. Let me bring it close. Look at that. Oh my God. The first frame is just black. And it magnetically clasps to the side. Do you, do you see that? The second one has this gorgeous Dior. Let me see if you can see it. It's very dirty. Please forgive me. It has a gorgeous Dior emblem all up and down it. I want them to come out with a red lens. I want them to come out with a yellow lens. I want them to come out with all these other tinted lens that we can interchange it, that we can buy it separately. Amazing. Dior did a big one with this one. And then the last pair of sunglass brand, I wanted to talk about Gucci, but I'm tired. I don't even know what to tell you. It's been a really long day. I'm just gonna stop at Versace. I love Versace sunglasses. They have really amazing, unique sunglasses. Every time I see a pair, I'm obsessed and I want to buy it. So I'm going to talk about the three that I love the most. Again, I have a lot of sunglasses. I just want to talk about brands that I love the most and then the pairs that I love the most out of those brands. These are Versace. Maybe I love this so much, I bought it twice. So I bought the gray and silver version first. Absolutely loved it. I felt like it was perfect for my face shape. It complimented my face without overtaking my face. It sat really well. You can see my eyebrows. You can still see my nose. And it was a dark black, but actually it's like a silver. It's like a metallic silver when you see it in the sun. When they came out with the orange pair, I went and bought it. These are more summerish. They do have an orange tint to them, which you can tell once you put them on. They're so dirty because I wear them so much in the summer. They are just beautiful. These sunglasses are really, really great sunglasses. If they come out with another colorway, another tint, I will buy it. That's how much I love these sunglasses. They fit amazing for almost every face shape and they're just easy to wear. Look at that, that is the orange pair again the versace logo on the side it is just beautiful it fits great on my face and it just looks 
really really good when you see somebody wearing these you automatically want to ask them where they got it from i wore them while i was in dominican republic so many people asked me where i got these from and i wore them summer last year i got so many compliments on these sunglasses and they look good like i felt amazing oh god in these sunglasses so the last pair of versace's that when i bought i obsessed over and i was hoping they got more of were these ones right here i bought these in atlanta and literally it's in love i actually don't like wrap around frames which this gives like a wrap around feel but these ones i didn't mind too much I don't wear them maybe as often as the other sunglasses, but whenever I do wear them, I really, really enjoy them. They're gorgeous. They have this gorgeous sort of yellow gold frame around them. They're black. They're gorgeous. They have the little Versace emblem on the side. Again, they almost have like this wrap around shape to them and they sit high on my face, which I love. I can talk without them moving and without them like going like this the entire time because my cheeks are obstructing or like moving them, which I love. Every pair of sunglasses I have, I try them on to make sure my cheeks don't ruin the moment and so a lot of these sunglasses if you have high cheekbones i would recommend i'm not gonna get a pair of sunglasses that sit on my cheeks and then i can't talk and laugh or they're gonna leave cre a lot of creases some of these sunglasses do leave creases that's okay but if it's gonna sit on my actual cheek the entire time and move up and down and bob while i'm talking I'm just gonna leave them that's why you don't see a lot of Tom Ford sunglasses the frames are so bulky and so heavy and they sit on your cheeks that they don't work well for me y'all <laughs> I went and took my clothes off and realized I didn't film my new pair of sunglasses I have put away everything I was about to take my eyelashes off when I realized I didn't keep my promise and show you the new pair of sunglasses that I got so Let's get into her. She's Loewe. Of course she's Loewe. Of course she's Loewe. I got her from Saks Fifth. I was obsessed with her when I saw her. I saw her before Fashion Week and then I saw one of my favorite influencers, Janae Naylor, with her on during Fashion Week. And I was like, feel me, you already had her in your cart. Go ahead and buy her. She retails for $4.50 without tax. So let's go ahead and try her on. These are called the Solier New Aviator 61mm sunglasses in the gold brown. Um, with tax, they're $468. They feel great. They look really good. They look really, really good. I love mixed metals. I've really been into, I've always loved mixed metals. I've always loved mixing gold and silver together my jock moose bag which is probably one of my favorite bags is gold and silver mixed together this plays on that with the gold and silver um it's gold around the frames and then silver at the top metal um the arms are gold and then it's this brown and black like this ombre brown going down at the bottom i love her i love her I love her. She doesn't sit on my cheeks. I love her. She feels amazing. I love her. She's substantial. I love her. She's not too heavy. I love her. She looks great on my face. I love her. I'm going to come closer. She's silver up top with that bar and then a gold, like a tiny whisper of gold around the frames. You have the Loewe emblem on the side, the motif on the side. She doesn't cover up my eyebrows, which I spend so much time doing. She doesn't cover up my nose. She is gorgeous. Ah, ah, eh. Fine, fine girl. I really like these. I get really excited about things that most people don't get excited about. And fashion is one of those things. I get really excited about thinking about how I'm going to style the items that I buy. I want to style this with this bag right here because I love the play of mixed metals. I want to style this with jeans and a graphic tee and a blazer. I want to style this for a brunch date with my girls. 
I want to style this in so many different ways. She is absolutely gorgeous. She has nose guards. I'm going to bring her closer so we can talk about her. You have the motif, the Loewe motif on both handles. You see the nose guards right here, which helps her sit high on your face. You have the mixed metals with the silver and the gold around here as well as that ombre darker brown to lighter brown at the bottom she's absolutely just a beautiful beautiful girl and i absolutely love that for her i love that she does it upturn into cat eye because i'm not a cat eye girl i like that she kind of just bends a little bit to the bottom and she's perfect She's perfect, whether you're styling her for fashion week, whether you're styling her for a date, whether you're styling her to run errands, she's going to be an easy girl. She's going to go a lot of places with you without you feeling like you have to do a lot of work to wear her. And I love that about her. So I really hope you guys love these sunnies, but even if you don't, I like it. And that's enough for me. I will link them down below and let's go to the closing credits right now that is my sunglasses collection if you would like to see more of my sunglasses because i have a lot and when i say i have a lot i have a lot if you want to see more of it please comment below and let me know also let me know what your favorite sunglass brand is and what your favorite pair of sunglasses are period like which ones you gravitate towards every single day because i want to know because i want to buy them too I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not a part of my community, please think about hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my family. If you're one of my regular lovies, thank you so much for coming and spending time with me on this corner of the internet. If you're not following me on other social media platforms, it is Fumi Ford across all platforms. Okay, I'll see you later. Love you, mean it. Bye.